This tutorial will show you how to get the bill of quantities out of the model. So basically uh, in the, um, on the side here we have the project browser and uh, where all the views sections are and the families but there is also um, the point name schedules. So if we uh, choose a new schedule then uh, we can see uh, what kind of schedule we want. And the schedule we want in our case is the schedule for windows because we want to see how many windows and skylights we have. Name, window schedule, fine. Um, we could also change the name and then you click OK. And here you then see what fields in the schedule you uh, have and what options you you have for choosing fields. So now it's empty. So what we could, uh, what we basically could choose would be, for example, the the count, the curtain, the curtain color, the fire rating. the module height, the module width, the number of skylight modules, and you could choose many different properties if you wanted it. For example, the U value. Anyways, once you have chosen the ones you would like, then you can also um, you can also uh, change the uh, change the, the um, sequence. You can, for example, move them down if you want. You can uh, the module width. You can move up if you want it to be first. The module height right after the number of skylight modules. Move them up. You can then put the U value up as well. You have some kind of a sequence that makes sense for you. And once you're done, you can then click OK. And there is your schedule, basically. It shows also here as the window schedule. And if you have a separate schedule for doors, for walls, and so on, they will all show here. So in the window schedule, you see there is the module width, the module height, the number of skylights. And it's 70, 70, 70. It's each row of the skylights, the U value the fire rating and they are wood curtains and the color is skylight white for the curtains. There we go, there is this window schedule and you you can of course export it if you want into, into Excel so you can have it as a spreadsheet. You then export it here as a report and a schedule. And here you can then save it as a delimited text. Save. There we go.